Hey there, I the Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to the Narjan Reacts. And this will be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 4. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Voyage of the Ruthless. Ruthless. That can't be Callum and Raylan, right? To be a new group entering the fray that's gonna be more ruthless or something going after the Zim? How are you two, how are you guys actually able to sleep on, on, Fifi, on Fifi? Like, seriously. I'm trying to connect to the Arcanum, like Lujane said. Okay, so I all wise one. Magic again. Didn't she also say that you have to be born with the Arcanum? What's it to do magic? No, He's gonna prove her wrong. You had and that magical creatures are born with a connection. But I don't hmm. see why I can't make my own connection. I mean, I, I get what he's saying. It's where, it's kind of like having, a, okay, let's say it's, let's just take wireless networks as an example. Let's say you have two computers and they come with a wireless adapter. Well, humans are like a computer that don't have the wireless adapter. So he's kind of got to make the connection on his own. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 okay. I'm definitely thinking Callum's going to do that. I, I, I feel like he's going to be the first human to, to do it. Um, I mean, not that, not that any previous humans didn't try. Uh, like we haven't seen the effort that, um, Viren and like Claudia and, and maybe previous mate, uh, like, um, sorcerers and stuff went through to learn magic or like if they tried doing the primal route. And because they couldn't, that's when they went to dark magic. So, but I wonder if they gave up too soon or they didn't go about it the right way. And Callum's going to figure out that way, that specific thing that's going to allow him to connect to it. I feel like it is. It's almost, it's almost like a spiritual thing where he, like, like some people are able to make that spiritual connection or um, find that inner peace or inner spirit. Um... So I think that's gonna be Callum. Yeah, I, I, I really feel like he's gonna be the one to do it. Weird and humming. Right. Seems reasonable. You always have to hum when you meditate. That's like a standard thing. Uh, is it just me or we lose an altitude? Is he falling asleep? What? No way. I'm extremely attuned to slight changes in the air. <laughs> Wait, why is Fifi losing? Why is Fifi losing altitude? So they're like air, air bladder. Ah, that's him! Oh, and, and Ezrin. <laughs> oh, freaking! <laughs> What's that face on Callum? Hold up. <laughs> Please tell me. Is he staring at her ass? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! This should be, that should be a meme. It, that's, that's the face that could be for a meme. Oh my... Not the way he's looking, it really looks like he's staring at her butt. <laughs> it's nice having both hands again. I bet, yeah. Bait, like, clutching on to Fifi. Oh, you're new, Mr. Beard Man. The signal. The outpost is secure. The smoke? Oh, smoke signal. Yes, General. Already a party. Oh, so he understands sign language too. Okay, I thought I thought she would need Ren for that. Or Ren, and he's still down there. Is it? No, remember on Viren. Is she gonna communicate with him? Are you? I feel like she's knows. Okay, so yeah. That smirk. Where are you going? She's teasing him. <laughs> it's like I know stuff she you don't. Know, I'm not telling you yet. Gets her power. The further oh. away we go, the harder it is to carry everyone. Oh. Wow, Ez. I can't believe you could understand all that. You just. You can't believe he could under. Didn't we have an episode showing that he can understand creature? No, I mean we guess we didn't. I mean, it it was him. I don't know if it was understanding the spider or just like he could feel it that it wasn't a real spider. Because I don't think that proved that he could communicate with animals or creatures. It was just that, like, but, because I don't want to say, like, really, Callum, we already had an episode establishing that he can speak to creatures. Like, I, I already believe Ezra can do that. Like, we've already seen examples of it. Like, everyone else is the one that doesn't believe him. But I'm pretty certain we had that episode, and at the end, Callum even said, you know, I should have believed in you. So for him to now be like, wow, you can understand all that, it's like, 
Didn't we have an episode, like, showing that you can? Why are you surprised? If anything, I would say that, you know, instead of being like, I'm surprised you can, I'd be like, I'm like, it's really cool that you can do that. Like, it, it like, I'm glad you understand, like, the creatures and stuff. Thank you. Little. I would say Fifi's probably my favorite design so far for mythical creatures. So, what do we do now? Well... I just noticed the Zim, does Zim have, like, yellow accents on his design? Or, I think that's just sunlight. I think, yeah, I think that's just the sunlight. But it looks like he's got, like, yellow on the edge of his wings. I mean, he's got yellow... Uh, his fur on the end of his tail is yellow. Oh, I wonder, does he have yellow highlights or accents in his design? That'd be cool. I mean, he has sky and lightning and stuff. Even though lightning's not technically automatically yellow, it's like a blue. Um, but he's mainly blue anyway, so having some yellow would be kind of... Fluid, I both need to survive and hate more than anything in the world. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Rayla, Rayla you know hates what? water. We'll just walk around it somehow. With walk? No. Not this That's time. Sweet. Get that. Callum remembering that she's our friend. Horrible baby dragon home to Zadie as fast as we can. We've got to Bait go is. <laughs> so they're gonna need. They're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> I was thinking maybe they could get like a water creature or dragon or something to go across it, but yeah, they'd have to befriend it, and I don't think they're gonna do that right now. That won't be a problem. I can disguise myself as a. Oh, uh, human Rayla? Human Rayla? Uh. Hello again, fella humans, human fellas. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, did this become a thing with her with human Rayla? Is that why y'all were like so excited about human Rayla and makes her appearance? Does she keep doing this? Like, I, I hope she does. Like, I love it. I love, I love human Rayla. <laughs> and I, I'm totally gonna want to get a shirt of her. Hello, human fellas, fella humans. <laughs> Oh, so Ezra is too. Sure thing, old buddy, old pal. I'm oh, excited buddy, to rapidly pal. eat a plate of unwholesome food in an excessive portion size. <laughs> now that's America. <laughs> Won't it be great to encounter other humans? And so we can kill them. Roads and pathways oh. will take us somewhere slightly faster than other roads and pathways. <laughs> she going southern? So you stay here and work on growing a fifth finger. <laughs> work on growing a fifth finger i mean i still think she could well i still think you could hide it with by saying it was an accident or you were born without one like i don't know deformity <laughs> you i mean sure okay if you were in an accident and you lost the finger there'd be scars or something but i think if you were born without one people would be less likely to question that like, uh, i don't know my smooth skull friend smooth skull it's because they don't we don't have horns are you gonna trust Viren to show him stuff? A rock, cloak, cloth, a goblet, or a chalice? No, not chalice, like glass. A knife, a needle and thread, mortal mortar and pestle. Is this one to be trusted? Is this one a dark elf or something? So I'm noticing her eyes are. Hmm. You're just playing with his wing. What is he? Some kind of enlightened human who can really see the good in elves? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe not. See the good in anyone, really. But that's part of what makes him uniquely qualified. So he just he just hates everyone. <laughs> so does it matter? This is this gonna be a kind of captain that's like just pay me and we're good. <gasps> they have a bird. Is it, gonna, what's it, is it gonna be like a parrot pip? Don't you look like a typical captain with a cool? <gasps> Hello. You know, for a moment I thought it was the guy who freaking um had the sun elf blade, uh knife, and um never mind. The name's captain Velas, the okay, he's exactly what I expected for a captain. Oh, okay, so it's just the silent D then. I... Ah, so there's a... <laughs> Please. Is our also, I like the design of the parrot. And Rayla. Spelled like it sounds. And Spelled? Huh? It sounds. Dogs. And this is me first mate, Birdo. I'm Birdo. Me ships this way. That one has a good... But... Welcome to me water. <laughs> Wait! Oh, the uh. 
And of course, his bird, his name is Birdo. Named after me, dear wife, Ruth, who sadly don't enjoy sailing. So you said it. I thought he was going to say she died from the way he reacted. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like they purposely paused that to make it seem like she died, but instead it's just she doesn't enjoy sailing. <laughs> A storm. That you don't say. Interesting. So we have to do it. No problem. <laughs> Unless the storm catches us mid bay and, and we all die. <laughs> it's okay though, right? At least we try going fast. Wow, of all the, you know, like all the cool design creatures, the dolphins, they don't do anything to them. It's just plain dolphins. That's okay. Flipper Flipper doesn't even mess with. You might be wondering what happened to the eyes. Well, not really. I didn't want to mute the seagulls. I just realized that he didn't have either eyes. I thought, how did I, how is he able to see? Is, is Birdo like his eyes or something like that? Because how can you see without your, and like, he walks and moves around like he can see perfectly fine. Oh, oh that's how you sail, me boy. You feel it. Is this gonna do with Callum's magic or something like that? Maybe not. It's like shooting a willow melon seed from between your fingers. Willow melon? You squeeze it on both sides, but the seed shoots straight out. I half expect that to hit him in the eye. Oh, where goes that? Oh, I know. I think Burrow's got it. Yep. A connection deep in me bones. I knew this is gonna help him with Callum. To the wind? How did you get that? What? Just because I'm blind and have narcolepsy, you thought I wouldn't have narcolepsy? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I wait, narcolepsy? <laughs> that pause is like, yeah, that's what I narcolepsy. <laughs> oh. Wake up talking about narcolepsy and falling asleep. Okay, I know. You know what? Actually, what he reminds me of, him and Birdo remind me of uh, freaking uh, uh, the pirate from SpongeBob and his bird. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh, well, there's a storm. Really, you're sleeping? I'd be sleeping below deck. Storm. Zim's gonna love it because he's a sky dragon. Those aren't the exact items, I don't think. Or similar items, I guess? It just has to be the same. Okay. What are you, what are you showing Viren? Imagine she's showing him how to just make a napkin or something. <laughs> she's just trolling him. That was fast. You just made an intricate design. I've never seen this room. Wow, before. you copied that well. Oh, a geode. That <laughs> does it manually. Okay, you're gonna grind the crystals, pour the powder into the cup, drink it. Bottoms up. You expect me to drink this? Are you gonna trust an elf, Farron? You know, you know what I find funny is he kind of was hesitant to drink that when he's like for dark magic, he's literally poured stuff into his eyeballs without like like without any hesitation. But this this elf shows him how to possibly do something that is gonna help him, and he's like, "You want me to drink this?" It's like it's just freaking crystal dust. What are you worried? That'd be the last thing I'd feel hesitant over in compared to any of the dark magic he's done. You're gonna cut your hand? Yeah. You got a big sword! I don't even know who I don't even know what you are. She's obviously an elf, right? I'm like 99% percent certain that she's an elf because you could see like a little bit of like a like almost like a point sticking out of the hood. Really? Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't think she does. Yeah, with water or anything, she's You're good. Wonder why. No, this is my rare glow toad impersonation. <laughs> rare glow toad impersonation. <laughs> Turning green. <laughs> is he gonna turn green too? Nope, he held it in. <laughs> Oh, so Birdo helps with him, like, knowing where to go. This is probably the most useful parrot I've seen 
in any, like, media. Rocks ahead! <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. No way you just... Did you just freaking do a... You are... Damn, all want parking skills like that for freaking Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Only people who play Sea of Thieves, the video game, would know that. <laughs> I thought I was good at parking the ship. <laughs> this guy just went through rocks like freaking Tony Hawk of ships. That, that's what you're surprised by is this parrot can speak full on English in sentences, but then when he goes squat or she or she or he goes squawk, you go, wait, what? I get it. It was a joke, but. Fresh food, so somebody's been there recently. Wait, no, this is is this the sun elf that I she fought? Understand. My apologies, sir. The, the others went on patrol and I missed my cue. The next signal will happen exactly on the hour. <laughs> You're sweating. Oh, sign language, so he can see. Mm, okay. Smart. That's what being someone who understands sign language is a benefit. <laughs> Hey, sun elves. We're gonna see more of uh, sword wielder. <laughs> God, I love her design. She's probably my favorite design elf so far. We'll have to wait it out below deck. Just make sure to to dump out water. No time at all. Yeah, I agree. Isn't the book gonna get soaked in this rain? I know that face. It's the dumb idea face. Was that like a, was that technically like a spark between the two? Nah, <laughs> is this like a spark? A face. Nah, this, <laughs> is this possibly like a, a signal, signifying a spark between the two of them? I don't know, I mean, the, the Raylan shipper to me is sitting here going, huh, I don't know, rain, lightning between them, you know. Mm. It feels good to not be struck by lightning. No, no he feels I mean, like the energy. It feels like it, if I'm brave enough to go into it and face the storm, <laughs> I get struck by lightning. <laughs> how I'll make the connection. Or it'll blow you up until you're dead. <laughs> well, either way. But I am not going to let you risk the life of the future king of the dragons. He's a sky dragon. He was born in a storm. <laughs> let him go. Hey, I mean, hey, what if, what if Callum gets struck by lightning because Zim's touching him? He acts like a conduit or like a absorber and he takes the lightning instead. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to be brave. You die out there, I swear I'll kill you. Again. Double dead. <laughs> it's okay, really. We know you care about Callum. She's concerned. Look at that face. It's wet. More wet. The wind is blowing. <laughs> Freaking Zim is me during a storm or like rain. Just stand out and just breathe in and feel the crisp moisture and smell the air and just hope you don't get hit by lightning. It's blowing a lot. Oh. I'm cold. Bye, Zim. Zim's gonna get blown away. That little noise. Oh. Don't tell me you're gonna go to the tippy top Maybe point. I need to get higher up. Callum, I. The higher you go, the more tip. Point you go, more likely you're gonna get hit by lightning. I don't know about this. Also, how are you traversing this without slipping? Yeah, just lay there, absorb the storm. You'll get you'll get the feeling. When I could do magic, I I, I finally felt like myself and now I've lost Oh look at Zim's face. He understand so he understands what he's saying. You're not. That's where we need to go. Uh, uh, okay. Varen, you've like, been willing to do so much and sacrifice so much of yourself and stuff to do this, but yet a random elf person Did tells you to cut your hand and you're like, nah. Uh, we searched the entire castle. We couldn't find you anywhere. Sorry, I was in my uh, secret, secret, <laughs> secret uh, room. Totally not up to anything nefarious. <laughs> what are you, hiding in some secret chamber somewhere? <laughs> Yes. I no. was in the bathroom. Are you checking TikTok? <laughs> Listen, finally destroy the Zadian threat. You are witnessing history. 
Good that side of history right. or bad side of history? Um, would you rate the service you received today as excellent? What are you, freaking FedEx, UPS, Amazon? The lightning rod. Ah. Uh, you're not gonna... Callum. Callum! <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. I don't care that you got Zim. You're only a human. Well, you're going up to that? I, 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 I don't think... Are you gonna hold on? No! I have to understand the sky primal. I don't think that means getting electrocuted. That's like jumping in lava and saying this will work. Come on! Sim's like, I don't think it's a good idea, and I'm a, I'm a storm dragon. Why would you do that? You can't risk your. Now it's gonna hit him. Magic. This is crazy. You're still up there, and it can hit it any second. You might want to get down. They're gonna have like a moment, and then the lightning's gonna. Zim. Oh no, never mind. It's hitting all of them. Oh shit! <laughs> You're not gonna cut off here, are you? Don't you dare cut off here. Okay. I was about to say. Yeah, have you not learned that regular swords don't work on her? At least while she's wielding that. Sunfire blast hard. Amaya is definitely a good warrior. Like, fighter, I mean. Ew, love on the battlefield. I saw one of you comment that freaking that I was, like, love at first whatever. So, are these two gonna get together? I can see it. <laughs> I just noticed her ears are much longer and pointier than, like, moon elves. Yes, fight fist to fist, normal. No sword. Oh. Oh, is this her? F oh, this is her son. Oh, flame on! Whoa, I thought that the Sunfire Elves' form is scarier than the Moon. Okay, Moon Elves can go invisible in the moonlight, but I kind of like the Sunfire Elves' form. Or not only that, they come super strong. Or is it almost like the sword that self where you can cut through and? Hmm. You're still. St ah. It's like retreat, we're out. Are they gonna come back like what? <laughs> oh, please don't tell me Zim's like gonna. He's not dead. I know that, right? Right? He's not dead, but it, oh, what's up? Make us feel bad now. He got struck by lightning. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please. This is we have only had this dragon for three three episodes three four episodes. Come on, man. <laughs> he's alive, right? But I think he's okay. You're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> he's but he spat up. Wait, he spat up lightning. Wait, is that gonna like trigger something in him? Oh yeah. I, I thought I wanted this badly enough, but in the end, I, I didn't have the guts. I don't think you need to get struck by lightning to activate it. That's like saying I'm gonna jump in fire or I'm gonna drown myself for it to work. It's not, or you're gonna waterboard yourself more like. Yeah. You're gonna hug him. Stop, stop, <laughs> hug. <laughs> I love these two. <clears throat> Are you gonna go through with it and cut your hand now? Was she just waiting there this whole time? She's like, alright, good, you ready to cut your hand now? Nah, she's gotta be an elf. She's got four fingers only still. Or two, so... For him to say, what are you? Like, she's gotta be an... She's an elf! But what type of elf? I think she'd be like a star elf or night elf? S space elf? What are you gonna bleed? Are you gonna bleed red or are you gonna... Bleed a different color. Oh. You're you covered her. Okay. You're actually not gonna go through with what she wanted you to do? Okay, wait, I know there's drawing okay. Uh yeah, never mind. Let me just focus on the drawings. Okay, so we got the four scrolls. 
that were sent back from the other kingdoms. Wait, I just realized, what were the actual symbols for those scrolls? You got an elephant. Looks like a dragon. Looks like a flower. Can't see the other one. Bait with a pirate hat. Zim with the lightning. Or a storm. The sword wielder, or lead sun elf, I'll call her. Who are you? Oh, you've got like a... You have a similar design horn. And I think the eye thing... And the, ooh, the dark eyes too, just like the other... Like the elf that's been um, communicating with Viren through the mirror. But you look like a male version. Or a male elf, whatever your species is. You've got like a... Like the... What do they call it? Like the... What do they call a star? He's got that star on his chest, and he's got like a, I think it's also like a crescent moon. I just realized this is a freaking, this is a freaking, uh, the meme of Leonardo DiCaprio where he's holding the wine and he's going like this, and it's got the fireworks behind. I just, I just, I did. Nah. Oh. Freaking! Oh yeah, that's right. Claudia and Soren went into this episode. They still have the the tracker with them. Oh my god! And they're giving high fives. Alrighty then, huh? All right. Uh, let me get into my thoughts. <laughs>